The 100m finals at the World Championships in Hungary were more than crazy, especially for the American athletes. Shaquille Richardson won over 100m in a new personal record of 10.65. Noah Lyles also improved his personal record to 10.83 and won in Budapest. Next year are the Olympic Games in Paris, we all know it will be such a close race for Olympic gold. Today we are looking at the epic showdown at the women's 100m 2024. At the last two Olympic Games, Elaine thompson Hara just dominated at a short sprint distance. In Rio 2016 she won in 10.71. Five years later she defended her title in Tokyo in a sensational time of 10.61. Only 10 days later after Olympic success, the Jamaican star wrote history in Eugene, Oregon. At the Prefontaine Classics, Elaine won over 100 meters in a new personal record. In 10.54, thompson Hara raced the second fastest time in history. Only Florence Griffith Joyner ran faster in 1988 when she broke the world record in 10.49. This season, 2023, Elaine wasn't able to show her full potential due to injury issues and didn't qualify herself for 100 meters and 200 meters for the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. The 31-year-old only participated in the heat of the 4x1 relay race. Late in the season, she regained her power in a season best of 10.79 and finished third at the Diamond League final in Eugene. We can be very excited how fast the Jamaican track star will race in 2024. Shaquille Richardson impressed everybody in the season 2023. At her first World Championships she directly won in a new personal record of 10.65. In 2023 she won totally 3 Diamond League races. The 23 year old impressed with a crazy top speed and an outstanding finish. Her next goal will be to win Olympic gold in Paris. Probably her biggest competitor in Paris will be the Jamaican powerhouse Rerika Jackson. The two-time world champion over 200 meters improved this season her personal record to 10.65 at the Jamaican Nationals. At the World Championships she finished second in 10.72. It's possible that the 29-year-old is able to race under 10.60 next season. We can expect an epic battle between her and Shakari the whole season. The world and Olympic champion over 100 meters Shelley and Fraser Price couldn't do many races this season. The 36-year-old Fraser Price suffered a knee injury and opened up her season over 100 meters pretty late. Middle of July she still started very solid in 10.82 and 10.83. At the World Championships she won the bronze medal in a great time of 10.77. Hopefully the Jamaican is able to stay healthy in 2024. With her incredible talent she is for sure able to fight for another Olympic gold medal in Paris. Marisha Setalou had a very good season 2023. The Ivorian won totally 3 Diamond League races. Marie Chaussé has a season best of 10.75 in 2023. At the World Championships in Budapest she finished 4th in a time of 10.81. In 2017 Marie Chaussé celebrated her biggest success in her career when she won silver over 100 meters and 200 meters at the World Championships in London. Next season the 35 year old will aim for her first Olympic medal in her career. The 22-year-old Julian Alfred from St. Lucia impressed with outstanding performances in 2023. At the college championships in Austin, Texas, she won over 100 meters in wind aided 10.72. The powerhouse also dominated over 200 meters in wind aided 21.73. At the world championships, the youngster finished 5th over 100 meters and 4th over 200 meters. This season, she signed her first professional contract with Puma. We can be extremely excited how she can progress in her first season as a professional athlete. The women's 100m final in Paris will be on the 3rd of August. We will see a stunning final as always. Now my question for you, what do you think? Who will win over 100 meters at the Olympic Games 2024? Let me know in the comments. If you missed the video about the sensational season of Shaquille Richardson 2023, pick up in the right corner. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.